what is going on guys it is bond here and yes we are here today with a pokemon go video today i'm going to be showing you guys my 22 best tips or you might not know but most of them you probably do already know as they are everywhere but some of these which i'm going to get straight into you might not know make sure you watch it all just in case you find out something new let's get straight into it click pokemon to hear pokemon is my first tip for you guys. Now, this isn't really a tip, but it's just a cool little Easter egg. Just like the Pikachu that you can get by ignoring it four times when you pick your starter Pokemon. Now, you won't be able to hear this, but I just suggest you do it. I mean, it's just a cool little thing that most people don't know. Now, my second tip for you guys is the shrinking circle. Now, of course, when you go and capture these Pokemon, which I've got the Oddish right here, which I'm going to go capture. Third tip I'm just going to include right now is the color. With the circle colors, it's obviously the colors do depend how like you are to capture that pokemon green being easy orange being difficult and then red being you know the more difficult pokemon to catch once you do progress on with pokemon go you will realize you will get these eggs now these eggs you have to basically walk in order to hatch these eggs and get the pokemon out of them now there is a way of how you can do this without walking and that is cycling no not driving i wouldn't suggest you do that and why cycling works rather than driving is because you've got to keep under 25 miles per hour in order for it to count as you walking now my fifth tip is evolve pokemon now as you can see here we've got the bulbasaur which we're just going to use as a representation to show that you can evolve the pokemon as well as power it up but i highly suggest you do evolve it now the sixth tip for you guys is save battery what you want to do is click on the pokeball you want to go to the top right settings and you've got a battery saver right there which you're going to tick and now what this does is basically if you have your phone upside down now which is my seventh tip now for you guys is it will turn off the screen and everything will still count on you'll get vibrations when there's a new pokemon nearby and i believe it will still count as you walking for you hatching eggs my eighth tip is the footprints yes what do these footprints mean basically how close these pokemon are now as you can see these are all three footprints but that lowers down to two and then one being the closest three being furthest away pokemon and my ninth tip for you guys is collect low level pokemon now why you want to do this because then you can send it off to the professor just evolve your good pokemon and get it up with a high cp now my 10th tip which kind of relates back to the fifth tip however this is different is to evolve your pokemon first save your candy for any pokemon and make sure to evolve them rather than powering them up as they will be stronger and now my 11th tip for you guys is to sort your pokemon this when i saw this i was just like yes i need this because look combat power this is what i want always to see at the top of my best pokemon right now you got the gold Bark clefairy and the weeping bell and it is a very nice way indeed to sort out your pokemon my 12th tip for you guys is to use incense and a lure module and the reason for you to use this is basically lucky egg gives you double xp for half an hour and now the reason i say use incense and lure modules as well is because that as you can see here brings all the pokemons to your location which if you keep on catching those pokemon again and again you will level up really really fast now for my 13th tip for you guys is the grass animation like you know what does it mean now most people do know this now what it does mean is that there may be pokemon that it's happened to me before and as you can see on the screen right there there are some green leaves i don't know if you guys just saw that but it's basically like a grass animation and that could mean that there is a new pokemon and or multiple amount of pokemon that you can later send off to the professor now my 14th tip for you guys is that you can name your pokemon i, I mean i didn't really expect this to be in it but here we go we're just gonna rename ratata to just a rat and as you can see we can just name it i mean it's just a cool you know just thing you can do just like the sound when you click on it and as you can see right there, we have renamed Ratata to just nickname. So yeah, you can just rename it. It's just a little cool thing that once again, you can kind of organize your Pokemon once again. Now, my 15th tip for you guys is that, yes, you can catch Pokemon by just standing still and not moving. Now, I got level six by not even going to any Pokestops or gyms. My 16th tip for you guys is that nothing at all tracks when the app is closed. So once again, you have to have it open. I kind of repeated this earlier. And the best way you can have it on is click, make sure you click that battery save 
another option once again but nothing at all tracks not even the eggs that you have to hatch and my 17th tip for you guys is to claim free daily items now what you want to do is go over to the shop and at the top right there will be like a defender bonus that you can click now however you do need to assign a pokemon to a gym in order to get this and it's within 21 hours that you can just collect it and you have to make sure the holder of that gym my 18th tip for you guys is, is that you can transfer duplicate pokemon My 19th tip for you guys is to turn off AR mode. Now, the reason for this, now I can't really demonstrate it for you guys, but I'll pop up the screen if I can. When you capture the Pokemon in which the camera will be used, but you can turn this off if you go to the top right and you just click it once and then it won't use your rear facing camera. And my 20th tip for you guys is healing and reviving Pokemon. Now, this is after, you know, they've battled in the gym. Now, my 21st tip for you guys is that Pokestops do refresh every five minutes. So that means you can literally just do a lapse and keep on going back to the same Pokestop within a minute. So you can keep capturing those Pokeballs, potions, eggs, etc. So that has been it for this 21 tips from me on Pokemon Go. And I hope you guys did find some tips that you didn't know of yet in this video. And make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you for watching as always. Hope you guys have a legendary day. Peace.